Hello Magic's Movie Edit Pro users, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions and I've got something interesting that you might want to know about. Did you know that there's actually a free slideshow maker in Magic's Movie Edit Pro Plus? Well stay tuned and you're going to find out. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. This is what the slideshow maker looks like and it's free, it comes with Magic's. But before we get started, we might want to download some of these style templates that are free from Magics as well. What you do is you go into the Help menu right here to get the style templates and go to Download or Install Extra Content right here. Click on Download Extra Content and what we want is the Slideshow Maker Styles right here. So just check all them and then click Continue and download those and get them onto your computer and while you're there you can get any of these other things you might want to get them all it takes quite a while to download them but you might want to get them all if you want to do other things now let's get into actually making the show now I've already got one here and if I just scroll through it you can see it's a bunch of slides transitions movement and pan effects but I didn't have to do much to get all this to work I even got a title Okay, now I got a clean slate here on my timeline. And by the way, if you're not in the timeline, you might be like over here in storyboard or something. Just go over to this icon and click timeline. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get in some pictures. So I'm going to go to the import tab in the, in the computer here and go to my drive. I've got some camera shots here. I'm going to pick the one with my son bowling. I'm just going to grab all of these pictures and then drag them onto the timeline. Okay, now we got ourselves some slides right along here, but they'd be pretty boring right now because they just, they're just pictures. You could do it that way and export it as a movie. But to make it a little more exciting, uh, what we'd like to do is use the slideshow maker that's built in. Now, it's kind of hidden in here. A lot of people don't even know it's there. I tried to find it by doing a Google search and looking on Magics, and I couldn't even find any information about it. But I knew it was there, so I started looking. Went into Edit, and under Wizards right here, lo and behold, there's the Slideshow Maker. There's also a Soundtrack Maker and a Travel Route Animation Maker, which shows you a map and shows you traveling by airplane and things like that. That's kind of cool. But let's go to the slideshow maker. Okay, so here we are. Now, this is where the style templates will be that you downloaded. So let's go in here and we're going to choose Chill Out Movement Zoom. I like that one because it has uh, some pan and zoom effects applied to the slides as well as some transitions. So we've got that in and it's filled in these things down here. So let's look at the first one, Transition. So it's filled this one in with all crossfades. So I'll just leave that the way it is. They're going to be the most frequent. The others are going to be never. But if you wanted to have the others, you could slide these up and add some as well of those. But I'm just going to leave them alone. Okay, I'm going to cancel that and leave it as it is. Effects. Now this is where the pan and zoom comes in. So, so that's some movement effects added to your slides. And we've got both pan and zoom frequent and the others are never but again you could move them up to normal or frequent if you wanted to and I'm not going to tick either of these but if you did have some panoramic images or portrait images you could select these to let the program handle those there's also just the button for random effects which will just randomize everything I'm not going to do that so let's cancel that and then we got background music and it's got hold the line selected right here which is fine you could pick one of the other ones or load from available sound files that you may have from magics you can pick what you want I'm just going to leave it as is for now and then there's properties and title I'm going to actually make my own title and as far as adapting the movie length it's on adapt movie length to music so the movie length could match the music we could switch it around and make the music length, you know, adapt to the movie. Either way, I'm just going to leave it like it is. Okay, so we got everything set up. And let's go ahead and create the preview right here. 
So when I created the preview, you can see it added in all of the transitions here and the pan effects and all that. So it's all in there. Now let's go ahead and preview it so we can do this. You can even grab this and kind of scan through to see what it's doing. Okay. So you get the idea. So let's say that's the way we want it. So we'll hit apply and now it'll keep it down here. And the music's in here too. Discovered they actually put it in a track way down here. I don't know why. I'm going to move that up like that. So that way if I wanted to make some changes, let me go to the all track mouse mode or actually let's go to the one track mouse mode and say I wanted to change this make it a little shorter I could do that and now since my audio is showing I can drag that over and make it match and just to make sure there we go now everything's matched up so you can make some adjustments here you can even add a movie in with these pictures if you wanted to by sliding one of them out of the way and sticking a movie uh, clip in there so you can mix movies and slides don't be afraid to do that if you want to but I'm just doing a slideshow okay so now that we're done we can preview that right here basically the same thing again and I can move the cursor along to see what it's doing okay so pretty good I just got a new i7 computer with a a really hot video card in it so it's really fast I might do a movie on that later so stay tuned for that later on I'll show you what hardware I'm using to do this okay so we got that in there so now let's add a title we'll go ahead and let's just do a caption actually bring a caption in drag it in here and now we can go ahead and let's just put John and do this lower one. See if I can get that there. There we go. Bowling. I'll just put 2007. All right, hit the check mark. If you don't want it, you can hit this. I'm going to hit the check mark. All right, now when we move along, you can see the title will fly in. Here's what it looks like like that okay so now it's all done I noticed that it doesn't actually match the preview window if uh, that's an issue for you what you can do is go back to import just right click on one of the files and go to properties see what that file is under details so it's 1600 by 1200 is what it really is so that's a 4 by 3 ratio right there and what we can do is go into file probably should do this ahead of time but go to settings movie and then you can pick say a 4 by 3 I don't know if that's necessary because I'm going to override it right here with a 1600 by 1200 and we already got the 4 by 3 in there and then just click OK so now that we've adjusted the movie settings to be the same as our pictures as far as the aspect ratio we can go in and adjust the preview window to be the same as the movie settings so we can right click on the preview window right here and we could do adjust video monitor to movie settings like this but it says it's going to be bigger than the desktop so we do, that's too big so let's cancel that and go in here and actually go to the resolution presets and then we'll just pick a 4x3 format that's small enough let's do this NTSC half 320 by 240 that is 4 by 3 so I can click that and now the window matches the pictures better now we can go ahead and export so let's go ahead and file export and I'm going to use my favorite format which is MPEG-4 it's already filled in with the right information here 1600 by 1200 4 by 3 the frame rate is 29.97 you can change that if you want uh, with a slideshow it probably doesn't make a whole lot of diff but I'm just gonna leave it like it is 
And now we can give it a name down here. Let's go ahead and call it John Bowling 2007. And oops, I put AP. There we go. Now we got it. Now let's go ahead and export. A lot of times I'll put selected range only. As long as these markers are at the beginning and end of the movie, it's okay to check that. In fact, you could take out a section that way if you wanted to. I can move one of these markers in and only export just that section. Not necessary if you don't want to use it, but I, I put it on sometimes. And then you just click OK and let it export. Okay, just stand by. Okay, here it is. Title flies in. And you can see the transitions going on there. And then towards the end, you can see the, uh, the music and the picture fades out automatically. So that's an easy way to make a slideshow. And uh, if you're interested, I could do one on how to do a slideshow the manual way. But I just thought I'd show you how to do it the easy way first. So that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll have an end screen at the end of this video where you can click on my channel icon to subscribe or click on to another movie that might interest you. So thanks for watching and see you next time.